Good morning to you. It must be 5 a.m. East Coast time because it's time for another edition of Hardison's Tips. I'm your host, Brian and Hardison. On this 22nd day of December of 2020 in the year of the coronavirus, but we're making it through. So we give information to our brothers in key account, major account, up and down the street, in home sales, whatever it takes, all the way up to auto- automobiles. So want to go over something that somebody communicated to me with, and we'll probably have to make this a couple of videos, but let's uh, get started. So we want you to focus in on our good brothers and sisters that are door-to-door salesmen, like myself. When I tell people at that time that I was a door-to-door salesman, yes, in this history century, some were shocked. They didn't even know the kind of work still exists. Now, granted, rare, the best sales education I could receive is knocking on a door to sell books taught me an invaluable lesson that applies to every sales. There's no question that these lessons helped me co-founded an organization, Champion Strategies, which we still work from today. So here is some tips. Get to know faster. You'll be rejected often. There's no way around it. No one has 100% close ratio. When I was knocking on doors, one person called the police on me. Others told me to get off of their you-know-what grass. A colleague once said that you need to be a guy to come to the door with a gun. That's what you're envisioning. But most people are too polite. They let you make your pitch, and even if they have no interest in buying, and that's the problem on its own. Time is the most important important resource that we have and it will always be. But at first you tend to waste time by staying too long with people who aren't going to buy. I've made this mistake in my past. Then I learned to set rules for myself. No more than 20 minutes at anyone's home. A crucial way to make this happen is to help people feel comfortable saying no. I'll repeat that again. Making customers feel comfortable in saying no. I'll chat with prospects first. Then before a demonstration of the books that I was selling door to door, I would say, I think I understand what your problems are. And here's how we can help. I'll show you what I have in here and just let the weather just keep flowing. That way, customers are less likely to hold off on you by saying no. But it's the other principles that you're working with. But they also have another benefit. They're willing to take serious look at the project that you've made them feel more comfortable with. And please, get out of your head that you can read the signs, because I'm still ready for someone from a mind reading course or can do this, and I haven't seen them yet. To get some sense of whether someone is seriously considering buying or they're just a prospect, you need to learn the substitute cause that's given you. To do this, you have to get it into your head. I can't really show you, but it has to be up here. At first, I was going to focus on what they would say next. Do that, then I miss what they're saying now, which put me in an awkward anxiety situation. The key to know your craft and your pitch so well that you don't have to think about it. It's almost like playing. 
on a tape recorder in your mind while offering your deals, you study the prospect. You see that facial inspection. Then you look at that nonverbal. Are they comfortable, uh, at ease? You read their body language and what they're looking for. Chances are you are going to be correct. And then the last thing for this meeting, all of these things just apply as much to dedication, that key word, dedication, to people's manners, mannerisms. And once you get to know how they take in information, your linguistic program, you stop your personality and you start presenting them how they're comfortable. Whether it's auditory, whether it's visual, whether it's a little bit of kinesthetic. If some of that makes sense to you, once again, Brandon Hardison, President of Champion Strategies, with our ongoing series on public speaking. And as always in parting, you go out and make it a champion day.